Now, one of my favorite things to do as a collector is to build binders. Now, it doesn't matter if it's Pokemon cards or sports cards of one of my favorite players. Building binders is just fun. Recently, I showed a binder that my son and I were building of Steph Curry cards. And this gave me inspiration to go out and build a binder of one of the greatest players of all time. And by looking at the sticker, you can guess who that is. Michael Jordan. You see, I've been building a small low-end Michael Jordan collection the past few months, picking up some lower graded cards if the price was right. And along with that, I started to build a binder of blog Jordan cards of the lower end variety. Now, of course, there are some nice cards within this binder as well. Oh, hello there, 98 gold medallion. So with that in mind, I headed over to the Burbank Card Show in Ontario, California with one goal in mind, to acquire as many Jordan cards I can within a budget. The budget, $200. And the goal is to buy as many Jordan cards as I can to not only fill up this binder, but to also add to the graded collection as well. The Burbank Card Show was huge and a lot more comfortable to navigate than it was back in 2022. Now, before I start, I need to set up a base of operations, you know, to rest a bit after digging through dollar boxes and being on my feet for so long. Ah, here we go. Now this conference room held a kid's trade day where kids can trade with each other all day. A perfect place for my son to wheel and deal and a place for us to take a break from the show floor. So with that all established, it was time to hit the show floor. And within the first 10 minutes, I ran across this vendor who had three Jordan cards listed for a dollar each. My kind of price. Soon after that, I came across another vendor who had this Collector's Choice Silver Signature PSA 9 for $25. So shout out to the Collected for the deal. Things seem to be going pretty well right now. After searching a bit, I came across another vendor who had a whole bunch of 90s cards. And I picked up these 15 Jordan cards along with this stack of other lower end cards for $50 total. Shout out to Sam Savage. So with this stack of Jordan cards in hand, I decided to take a little break and went back up to home base to start putting the cards into the binder. We're making some great progress and finding some great deals to fill up this Jordan binder. And you can't go wrong with that PSA 9 Collector's Choice Silver Signature card as well. Okay, break's over. Now let's head back to the show floor. After walking around for a bit, I decided to check out this vendor right here. And boy, am I glad I did because I found some low grade Jordan slabs from some nicer premium sets for a pretty good price, despite the low grades for a total of $75. So far, I've spent $153 with only $47 left to spend. Let's see what else we can find. And bam, I just came away from a vendor who showed me some Jordans that he had and I was able to come away with these 17 Jordan cards for $40. Man, this show has been great thus far. And with the remaining $7 left, I was able to acquire these nine Jordan cards from two different vendors. And with that, it's time to head back and place these cards into the binder and call it a day. Thank you, Burbank Card Show, for putting together such a great show. And I'm looking forward to the next one. And who knows? Maybe I'll focus on a different binder for that one. Now this binder build was done a little differently than what my son and I did for our Steph Curry binder. And if you're interested to hear about how we did that, then you can check out this video right here.